This is just a quick video uh, explaining how the photoresistor is going to work uh, in terms of Arduino programming. Um, so what we have here explaining the wiring, we have a 10k resistor. The blue wire is connected to ground. The uh, yellow wire is connected to 5 volts. The thermistor and the photoresistor are on series. And we have the orange wire that's connected to an analog pin. Uh, it's A0 on the Arduino Uno. Okay, so I have a program running, and what it's doing right now is it's reading in the photoresistor and returning a value. It's going to be between 0 and 1023. And you'll see uh, right here that we're at uh, 400 level. Uh, I'm recording this in the middle of the night. That's just how uh, light my room is right now. But if I were to shine a flashlight on this thing, so I'm shining a flashlight right now, you can see that this thing is bumping up to uh, 800, 700 levels, uh, 900, you know, higher than 400. If I were to put my fingers on the photoresistor, now it's, uh, it's acting as if it were just pitch black. So what we have here is we have, you know, lower than 400 running, uh, readings. You know, we're at near zero, actually. So that's how the photoresistor is going to work in terms of reading. I'm going to pause this video and, we'll, and I'll run a different program. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna look at uh, this light, this uh, this thing right here. Man, I'm stumbling way too much. Sorry about that. I'm doing this in one take. Make sure I'm not doing this in one take. Yeah, whatever. We have a RGB LED. Uh, we won't be using this in the final project, but uh, I'm going to explain the purpose of this just in a minute. So, got this program running. I'll post this online. Uh, you can see right here, it's still reading in the photoresistor. Uh, it's saying we're out of range. So I'm just going to I'm just going to do it, and then I'll explain it. So I'm going to it's acting as if it's dark, and you'll see the lights turn on for a bit. It goes red, blue, green, I believe. And I'm continuing to hold this, I'm just going to hold it for like two more seconds. I'm going to let it go. And I'm going to do it again. So, you would expect this thing because it's, you know, the reading hasn't changed. It's still dark. Uh, you would expect this to just keep on running, and it doesn't. And uh, the reason behind that, now I'm going to look at this. The program is looking at. Uh, I'll go back. Okay, so the program is reading the photoresistor and it's checking to see if the room is too dark. And uh, if it is too dark, the lights are going to turn on. It's going to do that, uh, that rotation of lights that I just showed. And now it's saying, okay, we're still under, still under, it's still too dark. That means this whole thing is going to just want, it's just going to run one time and then that's it. And then I let go, and then, okay, we're back out of range. So now it's it's as if, uh, okay, we're now in the middle of the day. Uh, we're in the middle of the day. It's not going to run. It's not going to run. Okay, now it's getting dark, and now it's running. Okay, but, you know, it doesn't, you know, the sun doesn't go away and then just come back, you know. So it's... It's as if uh, it's still dark, it's still dark, it's still dark, it's still dark. And now we're back into, now we're back in the daylight. So that's how, that's how I think this project is going to play out. I did the same thing in terms of like it being too bright. It's hard to see with this phone, but you get the idea. Anyway, that's, that's about it. I'll uh, post the program uh, explaining all this uh, and yeah, that's all I got. Thanks, guys.